Hello, welcome to another chocolate tasting. Um, I'm here with Super Taster Amanda, and what are we tasting today? Oh, what have we tasted already? Today we've got Hotel Chocolat Unbelievably Vegan Sleekster Box. You might notice from the box that it has no chocolates left in it. Apart from one, there's one chocolate left. Um, but we've eaten the rest. But it did take us a few months, didn't it? Because you got yeah. these in yeah. August. Yeah. For your birthday, and then it's now the end of November. So, yeah, yeah so we've we... taken a little while to work our way through, but we thought we'd do, we'd taste the last one because there's just one of these big ones. So we thought we'd taste this together on camera, hmm. and we've also made meticulous notes about all the other ones whenever we've tasted them, so that we know what we tasted yeah. and what it was like. Before we go through those, I'll just talk about the packaging. Um, yeah, we have the central peanuts thing. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, plastic packaging here, which is, I don't know if you can see that, um, which is a bit cheap, but the whole box is very nice. It's got this um, little cover sheet there, which um, is recyclable, I guess. And that's probably this not recyclable. Not recyclable, but protective. But there's this lovely, lovely menu, which um, kind of unfolds and gives you a little stuff about all the chocolates. It's and it's up. textured. Oh yeah, it's got a it's got a kind of glossy finish here and textured finish here, which matches the box yeah. texture. And so, so could these go through a post classy. like a let, like post them through the door? Are they? Yeah, maybe you could. Maybe they they are designed to go through a door. Do you think? I mean, the sleek set does hint at slimness, so doesn't you could it? Just put it through the door or send it mm. in the post, which would be quite cool. And then you wouldn't have to go to the sorting office to pick yeah. it up or anything. They could do one twice as long, couldn't they? They should go through the. Um, is there stuff in the back? There is stuff in the back, yeah. The, the back is all black and a bit classy looking as well. So yeah, it's, it's kind of got a luxury feel to it. But the main thing is everything's vegan. Let's start with the, the simple nut milk. Um, of course these are all vegan. Um, does it specify what the nut is for the I think nut milk? it said it's hazelnut. Hazelnut um, nut milk. Because I know I was quite surprised because I thought it was coconut because some of them have quite a coconutty taste but it's actually hazelnut that they use in all of them. Here is the, the simple nut milk, I'll show you a picture of that. Um, I was saying it, it looks a bit like a, a lint, one of the Lindors that we, we like so much, but um, a lot sort of solider. Um, I could smell it from a distance in, in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, and it's 70% chocolates, the, in the chocolate coasting is. It tasted like it was going to be a sweet strawberry cream but without that sore throat throatiness feeling which you get from the really sweet filling. Your face is off camera. It's my face off camera. <laughs> Terrible. Um, but yeah, I did say I, I could eat a lot of these by the fire in the winter, or any time, but maybe without the fire in summer. But yeah, I did like those quite a lot. Yeah, um, I noticed they were a lot more melty when it was a warm day or when the room was warm. Yeah. Like, well, I know everything's like that. <laughs> <laughs> but this, it was particularly noticeable that it was more more melty in the middle, um, almost like it's designed to be eaten in a slightly warmer room mm -hmm. um, and you don't really get that meltiness when it was really cold in our room. Yeah. Um, yeah, it had the really strong smell of cocoa. Yeah, I found it too sweet really. It kind of like hit the back of my throat yeah, that's with how the I sweetness. Felt. So even though it was dark, mm -hmm. it was really, really sweet, which was quite odd as a chocolate because you'd usually expect it darker chocolate to be less sweet so yeah it was a it was nice but a little bit strange okay do you want to start with it start the which is the next one the pecan and nut milk pecan and nut milk so that's another globe shaped thing but it had some little bits of something nuts i guess on the outside didn't it yeah so i found the shell on this too thick which i quite often find with these hotel chocolate ones i think they often have a really thick shell and i prefer a thinner shell um like if I had a preference. It did have a really nice praline flavour, so a kind of nutty flavour, but I don't think I'd have known it was pecan. Um it was just a nice nice praline and it was quite dry compared to the the simple nut milk. It didn't mm -hmm. have that same meltiness for me. On the, the menu there's a Janduja one which claims to be like kind of an ultimately chocolatey thing. Um and there's the pecan and nut milk and they look very similar. I mean in the photo one of them's kind of got a bit of a reddish hue to it, 
But in reality, in the it box, doesn't. You could, it's really hard to spot the and difference. And also, what they could have done in the box <clears> is had it mapped a little bit better, because I suppose it sort of is on the back. But yeah. it, it's sort of, like, it's quite hard to tell, particularly when you've eaten some, what was what. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they weren't that distinctive in look, all of them. Or those two particularly weren't. But I, I couldn't taste any pecan particularly, um, same as Amanda. And there's some sharp sort of notes of salt, you know, little bits of salt in there, which I think was a little bit much... I mean, salt and chocolate is very nice, but no, there wasn't too much salt. Never too much salt, no, <laughs> too much salt in anything. And the the, the centre was kind of brown, thick, creamy stuff. Um, it's definitely dark. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I, the Pekin and the Janduja. I had to look that up to see how to pronounce Janduja. Um, looked very similar, and I couldn't tell the difference. But they probably taste the difference. But I couldn't read really two in a go just to check. <laughs> Salt, should I go for the, the yeah, salted you go caramel? For the caramel? Salted caramel and nut milk. That one's quite easy to spot. So this is a soft centre one. It was surprisingly soft. Um, and the flavours were strong, but it, it kind of tasted a bit oily somehow. It had a bit of an oily taste for me. Um, but the taste was a nice length. It, it lasted nice. But it was a bit sort of sore throaty, like, like we were saying earlier, a bit too sweet. But that said, it, it made me want more chocolate. But there was quite a big contrast between the dark chocolate and the sweet interior, which was maybe a bit much, I thought. But I still ate it. <laughs> I ate it and I was like, <laughs> where is the salt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, just where is the salt in this? There, there wasn't any salt. It, it was caramel and it was a nice caramel. Um, and kind of a nice, a really nice consistency. But it was caramel. There wasn't any salt. Maybe the salt had got into your peak and nut milk yeah. or something. Maybe it but had. I think like a salted caramel, you want a really dark chocolate and some proper salt in there. Um, yeah, I think I ate this when we were watching Bake Off, didn't I? Because they were Ooh. making salted caramel or someone made some salted caramel. So I ate this one while I was watching that. All right. To get in the mood, as it were. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll go on to the raspberry and nut milk one. Oh yes, that one. So this, the chocolate was really dark. Um, and the raspberry's really, really tart. It's like they've boiled it down and not put any sugar in or anything. It's just, yeah, kind of too, too tart. Mm. Um, I usually really like fruit flavoured chocolates because I like the kind of sweetness in them. Um, and I know some of them can be really fondanty and probably too sweet for some people's taste. Um, but this one, I think if they'd just like softened it a bit, it would have been really lovely. Um, it wasn't horrible, it just, yeah, it was just tart and it kind of hurt my mouth. Um, so I wouldn't be able to eat more than one of them. This is like showing why we took us nearly three months to get through this box. We <laughs> have to write so many notes. Kind of like, well, no, but also a lot of them, which I guess can be a big advantage, you don't want to eat more than one. Mm -hmm. Because they are quite they're not that sweet so you kind of have one and then you don't want another one for a week or so yeah yeah i, I find that the um the filling is, as well is, is a bit like a kind of paste which wasn't quite what i wanted um and it, it it was quite sweet but the filling was quite acidic and like like a man it hurt my mouth um i, I used the word astringent <laughs> um so I, I think that could do with a rethink if they're going to mm. keep bringing this one out. Yeah, I think that was, like the rest of them were all quite nice, but we kind of made ourselves eat this one a bit. Yeah, I mean, um, didn't make ourselves eat it very hard. No. <laughs> but but the, it was my least favourite yeah, in the box, the I think. Yeah, it's least favourite. And usually a raspberry one would be, like if I have a box of quality sweets or something, those are like my favourites. Although it's obviously a completely different thing, and this is obviously a lot classier and probably some people oh, would... Yeah really really go for it if you like that kind of astringent mm. acidic taste okay what what is the next one I need to see the next oh. one. <laughs> is the ah the, this one janduja bomb which i think i must have eaten a, a real janduja bomb at some stage and not got it confused with the pecan um yeah dark good balance with the softish center filling and quite a slow eat and it had a quite a, almost like a smoky taste and <clears throat> I think that was maybe my favourite in the box. I, I do like the kind of extreme chocolates a bit, so that was quite nice. 
Yeah, I found it really dark, almost to the point where it hurt my mouth. Um, and quite a lot of things do hurt my mouth, so that's not unusual for something to hurt my mouth when I'm eating it. Mm -hmm. It was nice and nutty and quite satisfying. Um, yeah, so it was pleasant, pleasant enough. So we're now on to the 45% nut milk baton. I think like all of these, it has this sort of praline milky, coconutty taste. And like I said at the start, I kind of thought these had coconut in because they all have that slight taste that's almost coconutty, but I think it's actually the hazelnut. Um, a bit like the first one we talked about, it has this really sweet aftertaste. Um, and it almost tastes like artificial sweeteners. It's that sweet, that kind of like stevia or something taste mm -hmm. to it. Um, but it is really nice and creamy as well. So I think like that one, I'd like eat a bit of it and then come back later and just have a bit at a time. Mm. Because it was just because of that really sweet aftertaste. But I did like that one. I thought it was good. Yeah. For me, this one was, was my either my favourite or my second favourite, I think. Um, and it had a nice kind of crunch to it. it. It's one of those chocolates you've got to sort of spend a while chewing it up because, you know, you, you can just swallow it down, but then you won't taste anything. You just get the calories and no taste, which is a bit of a waste. Um, but yeah, it had a rich, nutty taste. I've underlined rich, rich, nutty taste. Um, <laughs> like having a really warm bath, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I, I could eat a lot of those batons, but eat them fairly slowly. All right. Another baton. Yeah, I, I'm not usually a fan of, of orange or generally any fruit being mixed up with chocolate. I, I tend to like chocolate or chocolate and nuts. Um, fruit and nut, dairy milk I quite like. But um, other than that, I'd prefer to have my chocolate just as chocolate. Um, so I was thinking, mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. Um, but the same as the, the other baton, I, I like the like the snap to it. Um, and the flavour came fairly slowly. Um, with a bit of a hint of the sort of orange oil taste, which isn't really my thing. Uh, but yeah, the, then at one stage of eating it, I got this huge wave of, of oranginess, which I didn't like particularly at all. So that I, I'd have preferred a nut milk baton without the orange, personally. But again, I, I still ate it. <laughs> of course you did. Um, chocolate, isn't it? I actually quite like this one, even mm. though I wouldn't usually choose orange. I felt the orange was almost a little bit spicy, um, and it was quite subtle, so it was just a, a kind of hint of oranginess and spiciness, which I enjoyed, so it was one of the ones I liked better out of the box. Um, it did, like the other ones, have quite a sweet aftertaste, though. Um, I'm going to check in a minute what they actually used to sweeten these. Because I think eating them, I'd almost think they were vegan and like sugar-free and sweetened with something else because they have that sort of taste to them. Um, yeah, but I did, I did quite like that one. Thirty grams of sugar per hundred grams, so it does have quite does have sugar in it. So why it has that artificial flavour? I've no idea. It says no artificial flavours, but mm. I don't know why. Whether that's maybe like it's the, the orange oil that's. Just taste well, no, because it was special. in the other ones. I wonder whether ah. it's maybe the just like a weird reaction between hazelnut and I don't know because you get pralines, but it's just yeah, I don't really understand why why you get that taste in these. Mm. There's no logic to it. How should we eat this? Well, in fact, what is this? It's a this crunchy is peanut, a peanut butter baton. and is it snap pattern. Yes, kind of. I'm quite a fan of peanut and chocolate. So it looks kind of soft inside Ooh, almost. It smells nice. Like Ooh, it's yes. A bit praline-y, like this sort of bits and a sort of texturiness. I think that's a solid chocolate though. No, I think, yeah, I know, I know it's solid chocolate, but I was saying it's a texture. Ah, right. Like it's textured solid chocolate, not like an arrow, <laughs> but... No. Mm -hmm. Like if you imagined a tiny arrow. A tiny arrow, yeah, or a tiny bubbles, but yeah. even smaller than a whisper. It's easier to bite into than I thought. I thought it'd be like a really solid, like a kind of frozen Yorkie bar kind of bite. And it is quite textury. I haven't got any peanut, but I've got these like... Mm. I don't know if there's like micro peanuts in there or something. Micro <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's got these tiny little crunchy bits. Mm. I think you're right. And you are right about the centre. It's not just chocolate. It's... It almost has that kind of orangey taste, which I was getting mm. in the orange thing. But it's quite nice though. Yeah, I don't know if I know it was peanut. I know it was praline. Mm hmm. I suppose all these big chunks on the top are definitely peanuts. Mm. The salt, that's good. 
I don't know what percentage chocolate this is, but it's again a fairly dark one, I think, isn't it? It's dark, but it's sweet. It's that same sort of dark, sweet chocolate. But yeah, but it's nice. I like that, and I think that's one of the better ones. Hmm. So could we, we recommend this box as a gift for a vegan, or even a non-vegan? Because it was given to me. I'm not vegan, but I do like chocolate, and I, I prove a veganist. So more vegan, this is good. I think it depends on the vegan, doesn't it? Oh yeah. If you're vegan and you want things that taste creamy and a little bit milky and sweet, then definitely. Mm -hmm. I think if you kind of like those are the maybe the flavours you've missed or really want. I think though for some people maybe just would prefer just a box of dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I of, think of course no normal dark chocolate is quite often vegan, isn't it? Yeah, and they do say, I think on here, that their dark chocolate is vegan, but obviously this is made in an environment that is guaranteed to be vegan. So again, um, I think if it. you've got a friend who's vegan and is really following that really strictly, I think mm -hmm. then it would be a great gift. Yeah. Um, because obviously, yeah, they're not going to get anything, it's not contaminated at all. Um, there are definitely some really nice chocolates in there. Yeah. Um, I think... For me, it was a little bit one note. Um, there wasn't, I guess, maybe what they could do to improve it is to maybe put some dark chocolates, like proper dark chocolates in, without the nut milk. Ah, right. Yeah. If there's just a little bit more variety. Mm -hmm. So I guess these are trying to be milk chocolates, really, aren't they? Of course. But it's like I wouldn't really choose to buy a whole box of just milk chocolates. I'd want the variety of different types of chocolate. Because sometimes you really fancy that sweetness, don't you, of something like a really sweet chocolate, and sometimes you want a really dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a bit like buying a box of Dairy Milk or Black Magic, that you're just going for one type of chocolate almost. Yeah. Which, and it's sort of between milk and dark, really, it's not... Yeah, so I guess it... But I think, you know, like, as vegan chocolate goes, it's probably quite nice. Um, and it, it does feel like quite a special box. It doesn't feel like you've just sort of gone and scrabbled around and found the one vegan thing you can find. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be interesting to try some of the things like the Montezuma's vegan chocolates as well to see if Ooh, yeah. other places have, you know, like how they've, they've met the challenge. Um, it's always interesting to try chocolates, isn't it? Yeah, it is always interesting to try chocolates. One thing I've noticed, this hasn't melted on my fingers at all. So I've been holding on to this. Because it's freezing cold in here it and is. my hands are cold. Oh no, they're hot and clammy. Oh, like. Hot and clammy. They can't be hot and clammy. And mine are freezing cold. They're cold and clammy. <laughs> they're hot and clammy. <laughs> and on, on that note, um, mm. thanks for watching and enjoy your chocolates. Um, and yeah, try try to try to go vegan with your chocolates. But maybe. you could Why just, not? like, if you didn't want to necessarily invest in this you could just try I'm sure they do those little little bits of vegan chocolate and hotel chocolate and lots of other places do, yeah. so you could just give it a go couldn't you and, yeah. and see what you find and see if you like the specifically marketed as vegan ones best or the ones that just happen to be vegan because they're dark mm -hmm. um, so yeah you could do your own little taste test couldn't you Yeah. great thanks for watching and see you next time